In 2013-14, Western Australia exported $74 billion worth of iron ore, of which $40 billion was exported through Port Hedland. Port Hedland is responsible for a quarter of global seaborne iron ore trade and close to 60% of Australia's iron ore exports. The numbers are huge, so the requirement to operate a port that is safe and efficient is vital. Navigating a vessel that's four Boeing 747s long into one of the world's tightest ports takes incredible skill. Only a handful of pilots can do it. Uh, turn a port shoulder coming around to the scarp shop. Port Hedland is definitely a challenging port from a marine perspective. Every ship's different, every day is different, the tidal conditions, the environmental conditions, and managing the risk of those ships in and out of the port is critical because there's about $100 million worth of product and uh, profit to our customers goes out of the port every day here. So in terms of what we do here every day to the state revenue and the revenue of our customers is very critical. The channel is an average of 14.8 metres deep and 183 metres wide at its narrowest point. A typical Cape class ship, the biggest to use the channel, is 60 metres wide, but will pass along the channel at an angle to compensate for the high tide current pushing against it, leaving just 45 metres clearance on either side. During a sailing window, a vessel leaves the port every 30 minutes. A tight, safe and manageable schedule. The pilot must know exactly what's going on around and beneath his ship, plus other ships convoying the channel at the same time. On any tide here, we may have six, sometimes seven cape-sized vessels sailing in the channel. Each pilot carries a highly specialised navigation kit on board every vessel they manage. A portable pilot unit. If the ship suffers an engine or steering failure in the channel, the pilot needs to know exactly where the ship is and how it's proceeding. This is fed with real-time information. The outline here shows the ship. We have heading, rate of turn, distance off the track, course over the ground and speed. And also the positioning of all of the other ships and tugs that are manoeuvring in the port and the infrastructure. So when you're exporting 25% of the iron ore that's carried by ships in the world today through a single channel, the main aim of the game is channel integrity. Keep that channel open, safely moving ships in and out of the port. Pilots need to know exactly the gap between the keel of a fully laden 260,000 tonne ship and the channel floor at all times. Port Hedland was one of the first ports in the world to utilise dynamic underkeel clearance, allowing us to sail vessels with a minimum of 25 centimetres of underkeel clearance. We overlay that onto the actual positioning system and it shows up the areas that the ship cannot sail in. With this new technology, we can see very quickly where a safe passing manoeuvre may take place. This gives us the ability, when we've got multiple ships in the channel, for one ship to be able to pass another safely. So with more than a million tonnes of iron ore passing through the Port Headland Channel on any given tide, it's critical for the port to provide safe and efficient operations.